here's a unique idea. I'm gonna draw something really primitive here in Photoshop. Look, we got a little stick figure, big green box. You have not seen art this powerful. Let's put some words down here. Hi. Now I'm gonna take this, give it to an AI and see what happens. Let's start by typing in TV. Whoa, okay. That's fascinating. It didn't totally use my shapes. It mostly just covered them up. <laughs> oh, it did it again. I love how primitive it is. This is fascinating. TV, hey. Glubo, gloof with a mustache. That's a fish. We got a strange fish. GL, gall, goal, goob. What if we tried like realistic photo? Yeah, that's sure realistic. Whoa, fascinating. Whoa, it's like a meditating statue. I mean, this is so cool. How can we make this better? How can we do this? What if I typed drawing? Wow, that's something. Wow, that is something. Whoa, I'm oddly moved by this abstract imagery here. <laughs> This is awesome. I'm curious what you guys think, but this is some of the most interested I've been by this. Like this is really interesting to me because you need to consider that it's using everything you see here. So it doesn't have a lot to work with. Taylor Swift. Oh, that's right. You can't use famous people. Iron Man, abstract Iron Man. Close, a little more Batman-y. Oh my God, that's what's what? That's pretty close. That's pretty close to Iron Man. Oh, that's impressive. Let's go very specific. Person playing Xbox on a beach. A guy on a beach with headphones. <laughs> Weird. Oh, what in the world? That is not bad. I think the square is really tough for it. If I erase a bunch of the square, we might have better luck. I'm gonna type Canada, because there aren't really Canadian colors here. Cienenda. Also, no. Oh, eh, oh. Wow, 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 wow. Hey, okay, you know what? Well, you'll, one point. You get one point, AI, one point for that. Kaimo, pin me. What are you, a YouTube commenter? Oh, come mine. Dude with a top hat. <gasps> a llama. Ogekel, gel. It's the Ogekel gel. Iochi, ooh, fancy. Ogekel always shows like the fancy stuff, right? LOL, <laughs> ooh wee. Lario sisters. Further confirming there's a third sister. That's the cursed sister. This is wild, dude. This one's kind of cursed. But again, it did the two different hair colors. Like there's we, there's something, there's something. Hey, okay. I love how it's just like, well, this is just going to be a brown line here. Little more abstract. Press random keys in the keyboard. Let's see what happens. This is always the most exciting to me. Cause I mean, what are you going to get? What are you going to get? That seems to be an anteater. That is, I'm, I am not entirely sure. Oh, we got a little robot. Whoa. Okay. Okay. Let me just hold on. Is this a man in a hot dog suit? running down the road with pizza and money flying behind them and a dollar sign in the background. Now that, that is art. Even though these are so simple, why I am triply fascinated in this specific video is it's having to make use of what my existing stuff is, but they're so primitive and so ugly that a lot of this time, it seems to just be filling it in. For instance, this character's face is where my stick figure was. And it just says, okay, we're just gonna use black there because there's black, so we'll just fill that in. We're just gonna use this weird brown line ahead. We're just gonna use brown. We're gonna fill that in. There's green back here. It has to make use of the existing space. And there's no texture in my colors either. They are solid colors. And not much out there has solid colors, right? Like that's purely digital drawing. So that's why I'd be curious if I could get something hyper-realistic, but it seems unlikely at this point because of that fact. You're not gonna take a photo of something and have every pixel be the exact same color. Can't happen, it's not gonna happen. So specifically, this video, this experiment, to me is the most impressive showcase of how this AI works. Unbelievable. What if I type cursed? Q cursed. Yo, that's pretty sweet. Like that's a cool logo, right? This guy kind of looks like Squidward. This is mildly Squidward. Okay, now we're getting to cursed territory. Rash shirk. True beauty. We need to get a person here or what? Whoa, this is kind of interesting actually. That almost looks like a face mask. Okay, so we have a box with a face and a little person with a face. Got another person, okay. Very Cleopatra looking. Clearly inspired by Cleopatra in my opinion. Let me showcase what I was talking about by getting rid of most of these solid colors. So even if I left just a, a fraction, right? Well, a little speck of brown, a little speck of green there, and just a little speck of black. Field of flowers. Now, in theory, this is gonna give us something much more detailed and realistic because it doesn't have to conform to these existing solid colors. Ah, come on. Look at this, I told you. I'm, this is cool. Look, look. AI is gonna change the world. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more.